I had no, no backpacking experience before I came to HMI, so it was definitely something I had to get used to. Well, I've always been interested in the outdoors. Uh, I love snowboarding, uh, mountain biking. My previous backpacking experience before HMI was uh, minimal. I was super nervous about hiking because I was coming from sea level to a very high elevation and it was definitely like the heaviest pack that I'd ever carried. Uh, I'm scared. I've never, <laughs> I've never gone like, like I've never been hiking hiking and to go two weeks into it, like for my first time, uh, kind of kind of rough. I've never lived in a tent for two weeks straight, never cooked my own food for two weeks straight. I'm excited. I couldn't be more excited. Um, I, to be honest, I don't know why I'm excited. I just, I'm just pumped to go hiking. The nature is unlike anything you've ever seen before. Even a day that's cloudy, somehow it still manages to take my breath away. The beauty here is, it's just overpowering. Coming from Houston, you never see something like this. This much green, never. Just, and I don't get to travel much, so. This is incredible. I, like all the sights I've seen since like, what, three days ago? <laughs> it's just, wow, you know. Being out in the mountains, from looking at it right now, you don't really like get the full scope, but once you're out there, it's just like endless. Like sitting on top of a mountain and like doing school in front of like a beautiful alpine lake or in a, a beautiful valley, I, I had no regrets. A typical day on expedition, depending on if you're cook of the day, you probably wake up at around 6.30 to 7. One person starts boiling water for the cooking and the rest of us start packing our packs. We would all go over the route, split into two hiking groups and set out. We would spend most of the day hiking in our two groups, looking at the map to see where we were, checking in with the I-team and the LODs. Set up our tents, get our kitchen gear out, change into our camp stuff, and then pretty much just start cooking. Backcountry cooking is just completely different. A lot of the food is dehydrated and the, the stoves are different. As the time went by, I got a lot better at that. I've actually sauteed for the first time. I sauteed, um, Brussels sprouts, Ray was there. Yeah, the salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, slamming. Oh, I could go for some more right now, honestly. For the first five days, the weather was actually really nice. We didn't get rained on at all. But then, as the second week hit, it just rained, I think, every single day from like two to five. Ah! How's it going? It's great. I think I need to keep my glasses off. A little wet. It started raining, which is exciting. We needed some rain, so making sure everything's secure. We call it stormproofing, you know. Um, it was my first big raid of the expat, so there's some excitement to that. My leader of the day days were definitely challenging but something that really made you feel accomplished once they were over. I led a six mile uphill hike, 2,000 feet elevation, which was definitely challenging. You just feel a sense of pride in like what you're doing, but also just feel really happy to like know that you have the capacity to lead. <laughs> Why do we always pick the farthest campsite? That's the, uh, because it's got the best view. Before, when I thought of leadership, I kind of thought of it more as getting our group from point A to point B. And oftentimes I would forget about making sure that the whole group is doing well and getting there and feeling good. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at the map. <laughs> When you spend so much time with someone or like on a backpacking trip and really get to know them, like you just realize that any of your original judgments about them were probably wrong. You get to know them a lot better. You really get closer to the people when we're out there with HMI. It's really about 
building community. Getting to know people on a deeper level than just like physical appearance and what you see on the surface. By like day two, I was making connections with people that felt like I had known them forever. <laughs> this trip really made me realize how much I have and I'm going home a different person.